Hello, this is Craig from bizbox.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint the robes on a Primaris Space Marine Librarian. And of course, um, you can paint anything that has robes or cloth um, in this exact same manner. And um, I have a miniature right here. So, this is the guy that we are painting in this tutorial. Um, he's not finished yet, obviously. Um, I'll show you how I paint the robes. So, um, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so we are going to be um, painting the cloak on this librarian. I know there's a couple of bits where um, there's a horrible gaps, and I've only put liquid green stuff in there, so it might be, not be perfect um, on filling the gaps. But um, I'll probably put purity seals or something to cover them later. Um, so far, I've just airbrushed some blue on them, done a few little edge highlights. So we'll be careful as we work around that. Uh, but yeah, I love these um, Primaris sort of Librarian Marines, I think they're really cool. And um, anyone who's seen the one I did previously on my Instagram page, um, I'm essentially painting this cloak in the same fashion as that. So to start with, we are taking the Steel Legion Drab. And I'm essentially just going to apply this all over his robes. Obviously being careful as we get near the blue. He was primed with Army Painter Base Grey, as with most of my miniatures. Just in case anyone thinks it looks like I'm painting onto the bare plastic. <laughs> it is very close to the actual colour of plastic. So just um, continue around painting these robes in this colour. And um, it's going on pretty well in just one coat. But you may need to if you have a darker um, primer. So now that um, this base coat is dry, we're going to take some Zandri dust and we're essentially going to apply this over the, all of the robes, but just leaving the Steel Legion drab just in the deepest recesses. So let's work on the let's work on the back. So for example, and you'll need a couple of thin coats of this, and if you really want to, you could. Um, Sort of glaze this up in layers, get a nice smooth transition. But just for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just do a few, a few thin coats. So, for example, I've hit this raised area there, and we're going to leave just a little gap for this recess here and apply some more. So these are only sort of for the deepest recesses, so you can see the little folds in the cloth, etc. We're going to leave all them with the original colour. So just work your way around, and as I said, you'll need a couple of thin coats. So now this layer is dried, you can see that's brightened up the cloak very nicely, and it's left us some dark areas in the recesses. So next up we're going to take um, Zandri dust again but this time we're going to add some Ushabdi bone into the mix. So it's roughly two parts Zandri dust to one part Ushabdi bone. Now thin this out just a little bit more than usual as well and this is going to be the start of our highlight highlights. So this time um, I'll just show you on the camera. We're going to paint sort of like half of this, these areas that we had done previously. So it's going to be more of sort of like a stylized sort of highlight and sort of working our way up. Um, but I was really happy with the end result on the other librarian I did. So I'm just going to replicate, replicate that. Now it does pull up a little bit. At of a base, um, so just be wary of that. That's mainly my fault for having a bit too much on the brush. And of course, um, it's very thin, so it's almost sort of glazing these layers up. That should help us get nice smooth transitions. And um, once this layer is done and dried, um, we'll go over three quarters of it with the same mix, and that'll help us get a nice little transition up to the highlights. So I'm going to go around the miniature and hoping that my original 
on my first pass will dry um, very soon. So I'll just show you the next layer for that. All these areas at the top, just be very careful I'm trying to get any on the blue areas. All the highest points, we're going to go over with this colour. It's almost sort of like edge highlight and them areas are there. So we started here, and that looks pretty dry to me. So we go over again, the same mix, but this time just not quite as much. So we're more focused towards this centre edge. That just helps us bring a little bit of a transition up, and it makes it all be more central. There's other areas, and you can sort of start seeing like how the colour jumps up. Now, of course, I'm. Um, if you applied a lot of thin glazes with these mixes, you'd get a much smoother transition. But I quite like um, this sort of stylized look anyway. And we are going to glaze over it later on, which will help um, bring it all together as well. Okay, so this is how he's looking at the moment. So next I've added more Ushabdi Bone into the mix, so it's roughly 50-50 um, Ushabdi Bone and Zandri Dust now. Again, the paint's quite thin. And we're just going to add additional highlights this time, so being even more focused now around the highest points and edges. Again, it's thinned out, so I'll dry a little bit duller than that. So really just a case of hitting all these higher points now. Again I'm just going to edge highlight on these bits, just using the side of the brush. these raised areas here so just um continue working around and then we just have one final step okay so this is how the robes are looking now so you could decide to stop to stop right there and say they're done um, when I painted the other library, and I thought I would want to add something slightly different to them. So, I'm going to take some Nagaroth Night. And I'm going to thin this out right, right down to a glaze. Um, so, um, if you're not familiar with um, glazes, they're essentially um, even thinner than shade washers. Um, we're literally talking just sort of purple water here. So, then um, have some on your brush, not too much. Um, turn the miniature upside down as well. And literally, I'm applying. I'm going to apply a couple of coats of this all over the robes, and that just ever so slightly just adds a little bit of a purple tint to them. But it's ever so subtle, and it will show up a little bit more in the recesses, which is um sort of what what I'm going for. And the reason I have the miniature upside down is because sometimes these will pull, as you can see around this centre bit here, it's always better for the ink to pull at the top of the recesses rather than just at the bottom of the cloak because then it'll just look weird. So um, yeah as you can see it's just ever so slightly tinted and it's very subtle. I am going to do a couple of coats of this but that just, just makes it a little bit more visually interesting now. It's not a massive change by any means but does help bring some of the colours together also. Um, you could also um, decide to do like maybe corn red or something instead of Negroth Knight. Um, it's all, all about experimenting with colours. And here we have the finished cloak. So yeah, it might not look remarkably different on camera after the, um, the glazes, but I don't know, it just adds a tiny little a little bit 
I thought it was something t different to try. So, so yeah, um, that is the tutorial on painting the, the robes. So yeah, Sam, um, there's many different ways to paint robes. I know I did a video a while back on doing like wet blending and stuff like that, but this is sort of like just a layered approach, and I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, um, I apologise. My voice has been a bit croaky in this one. I've just got a bit of a sore throat, but it's it's on the mend. So yeah, um, so we're looking for suggestions for um, future um, painting tutorials. So if you have any, please um, leave a comment below, and I will certainly um, um, take every suggestion and um, probably do tutorials on them, as long as they're not too wacky, of course. But um, yeah, I'm certainly looking for suggestions, so um, please feel free to um, do that. And of course, um, if you've enjoyed this video, you can give it a like, and you can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we are go going to be do doing a giveaway at 5,000 subs, um, so if we haven't um, reached it by the time this video goes out, which um, we we shouldn't have, but we, sh we are getting very close. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, and you'll um, everyone who subscribes will be in the draw or have a chance to be in the draw to, um, to win some great prizes and um, we haven't decided what they are yet but um there'll be a lot of stuff i keep nudging the camera and we also have a giveaway on our patreon there's not long left now to enter for that all you got to do is sign up for our patreon during the month of july and um, at the beginning of august we'll be doing a draw for some for new primaris reavers um, and and we're also giving away some librarians and captains as well so um <laughs> All that's left to say is um, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you again very soon.